This offseason has been one of the wildest in the transfer market in Division I men's volleyball. Transfers from some of the top programs in the country, including UCLA, BYU, and Hawaii. And in this video, we're going to break down some of those top transfers, where they're going, where they're coming from, who they are, and what kind of impact I think they're going to make this year in the landscape. Let's get right into it. Before we get into any of the transfers, let's take a rewind to last year, the end of last year, how things transpired in terms of the rankings. Obviously, UCLA, Long Beach in the final, and looking at the top five teams in the country from last year, based on the results of last year's NCAA tournament, you have UCLA at number one, Long Beach number two, Grand Canyon number three, UC Irvine number four, and Hawaii number five. And I see a lot of similarities in what happened last year to what is going to transpire this year, this season. While there have been some big shifts in terms of seniors leaving schools, transfers, a lot of the same core guys are on these same teams. And I expect these top programs to have similar success this year as they have in the past. All right, first we're gonna talk about two setters that I think are gonna make a big impact this year. The first one being Cole Cooch who was a senior at Lincoln Memorial last year and an honorable mention, All-American. He's been one of the best setters in the country in Division I for a couple years now at Lincoln Memorial. Last year playing in 25 matches, 90 sets, recording 919 assists, 10.21 per set, which ranked eighth nationally. Coach was named IVA Tournament MVP in the Independent Volleyball Association which Lincoln Memorial won for the sixth consecutive time. He is transferring to Ohio State to fill in for Michael Wright, and I think he's going to be pretty impactful right off the bat for them. Has tons of experience. Um, he's going to be a grad student, so he's got, he's got plenty of years under his belt playing at this level. I think he's going to keep Ohio State um, at the top of the EIVA and competing really heavily. Next up, we have Gabriel Dyer, another setter from UC San Diego last year who recorded 425 assists on the season. He's transferring to Pepperdine this year to take over for the Waves. Pepperdine historically been a really strong program. I, ex I expect Dyer to step in there and contribute right away with the exit of Vladimir Kuber, one of their previous setters on Pepperdine going to Hawaii, I expect. Dyer to step in um, and get some early action for Pepperdine this year. Next to the outside position, you've probably heard this name before and you probably know where he's playing at this year. His name is Keani Tim, outside from Hawaii, transferring to BYU this season. He's an electrifying player, stands about 6'1", but jumps out of the gym with a, probably a 45 plus inch vertical. He is going to be huge for BYU this year. Um, he played a little bit this past year for Hawaii here and there through in, as they were battling through injuries, but this is his chance to get a full season of tick and play and go out there and show what he's capable of. He's an elite server, one of the best servers in the country, and has proven his ability, ability to hit the ball. Um, can he pass the full season? Can he block the full season? That will be the question, but he definitely deserves a shot to be a starter at the D1 level, and I'm excited to see what he can do for this BYU team this season. Next outside we have is Cole Otmar from Hawaii transferring to Grand Canyon University, a Grand Canyon team that's slowly rebuilding back to their form of last year. I know they lost a couple All-Americans their setter, um, two pins, and some really key players, but they are finding a ways to, to bring in some transfers, bring in some new talent to keep them at that level that they were last year, competing for a national championship. I think Cole Otmar is gonna be a guy that steps in there from Hawaii and, and gets some playing time for Grand Canyon this year. Next, we'll go to the opposites. First one, Trent Moser from BYU heading to Grand Canyon. He is a Canyon kid, so kind of going back home after playing a year or two in BYU. I think he's he's gonna fit right in at home, and like I said, building back this Grand Canyon roster up. Last year totaled 115 kills, 
and 21 blocks. And I think he's going to build from his sophomore season into this year and be a contributor for, for Grand Canyon. At the libero position, we have two guys going to Pepperdine. So this will kind of be competition to see who can beat out the other guy. Jacob Riley from CUI and George Dyer from USC. Two, two key guys there, the libero position. You need a staple at that spot to solidify serve receive. So we'll see who takes home that starting spot this year. But Pepperdine, again, another team trying to build up, get back to that, that level to compete with some of these other great teams in California. They're doing all they can in the transfer portal to make that happen. And lastly, I think two of our most exciting transfers this year, we have our middles, Guy Genus from UCLA transferring to USC. Genus from Israel, he is a big time player playing on the biggest stages for the Bruins. Now taking his last year over um, a little south to Southern California for USC and the Trojans. You pair Genus with a guy like Wesley Smith, 6'11", at the middle position, and that is two big, formidable, experienced players at the top of their game. So we'll see if that's enough to push this USC team forward to get a couple more wins this year um, and enter that top five category in the land. And lastly, and I think arguably the most exciting transfer of the season, Cameron Thorne bouncing over from GCU to UCLA, further bolstering this UCLA roster. They lose Genus and they fill him with arguably one of the best middles in the country. You saw what he did last year for GCU, all American player, jumps out of the gym, hits over and around everybody. You pair that with the best setter in the NCAA over the past two years, Andrew Rowan. Uh, I think that's a scary combination for teams going up against the Bruins. So. Cameron Thorne, a guy to look out for this year, see what he does for UCLA and see what this team does if they can three-peat. I got a comment on a, on a video of mine asking for some content on will UCLA three-peat and um, we'll be following them along all season on this channel. So if you're into D1 volleyball, if you're into UCLA, stay tuned for all the content for the rest of the year. These are my key transfers for this season to keep an eye on. Let me know if I missed any in the comments, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.